Hello everyone. In the previous classes, we discussed about vapor compression refrigerating system and vapor absorption refrigerating system. And today, I am going to explain the differences. See what are the differences between vapor compression refrigerating system and vapor absorption refrigerating system. Okay. Now the first one see the first principle is what working method see in case of vapor compression system the refrigerant vapor is what it is compressed and in case of vapor absorption system is what it, the refrigerant vapor is absorbed and heated see you know that in case of vapor compression system by making use of a compressor mechanical device like a compressor you are you need to what you need to compress that vapors of the refrigerant in order to increase pressure and temperature and to circulate that uh, refrigerant vapor throughout the cycle and in case of vapor absorption refrigerating system the refrigerant vapor is first it is absorbed i think you know that in case of var system we are making use of one absorber inside that absorber absorbent will be present that absorbent will absorb the vapors of the ammonia that solution what we call as strong ammonia solution and again you know that in case of heater come separator we are making use of one heating coil in order to heat that strong ammonia solution to get vapors of the ammonia okay next principle that is the type of energy supplied see in case of vapor compression refrigerating system we are making use of mechanical energy that is what in order to operate the compressor part okay and in case of uh, vapor absorption refrigerating system there you are making use of what heat energy means in case of a heater come separator you are making use of a heating coil in order to produce what in order to increase heat in order to increase temperature okay and see and in case of vapor absorption also we are making use of one pump right okay in case of vr we can mention we are making use of both heat energy and mechanical energy okay next difference see the work or energy supplied see in case of vapor compression system the external energy is supplied to compress what to operate the compressor right the external that is electrical supply is it is what supply in order to operate what the compressor part and in case of vapor absorption refrigerating system the external energy is or external energy supplied or work has been done in order to operate what pump okay next one coefficient of performance see coefficient of performance will be higher in case of vapor compression system and it redu reduces at what part loads see part load means what partial load condition under partial load condition the coefficient of performance in case of vapor compression system it will be reduces okay and it will be higher the cop will be higher in case of full load condition that is maximum load condition and in case of vapor absorption refrigerating system the coefficient of uh, performance it is what it is relatively low and it remains same in case of partial load condition okay and next difference that is capacity see here vapor compression refrigerating system they are mainly used in case of what domestic refrigerator okay their maximum capacity will be what up to 1000 tons that is up to 1000 tons of what refrigeration you can produce by using vapor compression refrigerating system and in case of vapor absorption refrigerating system the capacity the maximum capacity will be above 1000 tons because var system they are mainly used in case of what industrial purposes there the refrigeration effect needed will be more than 1000 tons okay now the next difference is what noise okay see noise is more in case of vapor compression system and it will be less in case of what that is vapor absorption refrigerating system because of what compressor in case of vcr we are making use of mechanical device that is compressor that's why the noise will be more and we are not making use of any compressor in case of var system that's why the noise will be almost quiet okay and the commonly used refrigerant see next 
difference is what refrigerant see the commonly used refrigerant in case of vapor compression refrigerating system is what freon 12 and in case of a vapor absorption refrigerating system it will be ammonia okay and leakage problem see in case of vapor compression refrigerating system the chances of leakage will be more and in case of vapor absorption system it will be less because see here in case of vcr we are making use of compressor so that the the temperature and pressure sorry the pressure and temperature what you are getting in case of uh, vcr it will be very high that's why there may be chances of what it will be more in case of what vcr compared to var because of absence of what the compressor next one maintenance see in case of uh, vcr that is vapor compression refrigerating system maintenance cost will be high because of presence of mechanical device like compressor and in case of var it will be less because of absence of the compressor and operating cost See here operating cost means what here in case of VCR system in order to operate a compressor you need to supply more amount of what electrical energy and where compared to in case of VAR the electrical energy required will be less because of absence of what the mechanical device like compressor okay. If you like this video please share with your friends and please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press that bell icon so that you will get a notification when i upload my next video thank you